JReport is designed to be embedded within your current web application, regardless of the development platform such as Java, .NET, PHP, Python, Ruby on Rails, Cold Fusion, or any other development platform. If this is your current web application with the images, the colors, the styles, and these tabs, embedding JReport within your current web pages simply by modifying the existing files by adding container tags such as iframe tags, div tags, or even a link. To generate a link for this combo report, the syntax required is as follows. So here's an example of the syntax required to create a link in order for your end users to run a report. What's happening under the covers? So again, modifying your existing web documents by, by adding iframe tags, div tags, or links. When the user clicks this submit button, these parameters are going to be passed on the query string to the JReport server. For this particular report, there's a query associated with it. This query will be executed based on the data source used to generate this report. The results set will be forwarded back to JReport server, ultimately rendered within the client's browser using only HTML5 and JavaScript. Everything can be customized within this report. The fonts, the sizes of the fonts, the sizes, the styles, the background colors, the borders, the tables, the widths, even controlling the legend. Also, the bar color can be modified. From an end user standpoint, they have no knowledge they're using a third-party tool to generate their particular report. So, how do you create the links in order to generate these reports? In any browser, go to the company website, ginfonet.com forward slash kbase, the knowledge base archive. Once you're in the knowledge base archive under JReport Server Live User's Guide, click the HTML link. Click on the search tab and search for the phrase running a report via URL. Clicking on running a report via URL shows you both the syntax as well as an example of how to build a link in order to run your report via URL. This works in conjunction with dashboards. There's another link running a dashboard via URL which contains both the syntax as well as an example of how to build your links to embed JReport within your current web application. For a detailed overview of all the parameters that are required for running a report via URL. In your help documentation under Appendix 7 Parameters for Running Reports via URL, you are provided a list of all the parameters that are used in building your links to run a report via URL.